Breaking news, Labour Party wins presidential election in Edo State. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support um, to this channel. We really appreciate your support and um, we are here to give you most authentic and reliable happenings in the country. We know in the last couple of hours, um, Nigerians all over the world this time around is not just nigerians in the country those in diaspora they've been um waiting on eye neck as they release the results we know that it wasn't meant to be so these results were meant to be transmitted at the time of um voting at the polling station that is what INEC told us before now that made nigerians so excited and looking forward to this election that um, there's going to be electronic transmission of results on the very day but we know that this uh, election results that are coming up now uh a lot of uh um, complaints have been raised that there's a possibility that since these results have been transmitted manually a lot of malpractice and them um, doctoring and all sorts have been going on just a couple of um, hours ago the former president Olusegun Obasanjo released a statement um to president Muhammad Buhari telling him that um um, those areas where the, beav the beavers didn't work and serve us, that those elections should be voided. They should not be counted. We will not accept manually transmitted um, results because how can we um, vouch for those results that they truly reflect the wish of the people, that they truly reflect the choice of Nigerians because we are not there. It's whatever they put there. But if it's the electronic uh, uh, um, results that was uh, transmitted at the point of the election at the close of um, play during the uh, the election day everyone will know that okay yes this is what we got and this is it but anyway in spite of um um all of um inex and tricks and um failures that they talked about the challenges that they faced during the election however results have been coming out um in bits we've been hearing um bit by bit it was a quiet bomb not too long ago um earlier on it was lagos state and Delta State, and now Edo State, and Nigerians are seriously monitoring this election. Not just Nigerians, the international community, they are monitoring as well. Past leaders are monitoring. That is why uh, Obasan just sent that message to President Mohamed Buhari that this will not happen. But anyways, Buhari has not responded um, to that um, statement um, uh, former President Olusegun Obasan just, just released. But let's get into the uh, details for today. Um, Labour Party wins presidential election in Edo State. Edo State is a PDP state. It used to be an APC state. Um, uh, Obaseki won his first tenure under the All Progressive Congress, but we know that um, this is leading to the um, Edo 2020 governorship election. Um, he was denied the party ticket and he went to the PDP. They gave him the umbrella, they gave him the ticket and he contested under the PDP. So the, the Edo state is a PDP state. But um, it's quite interesting right now that um, Labour Party has just won that state. We can see that um, something is really happening. Something is happening. A new Nigeria is about to be buffered. We'll bring all of the details in a moment. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. And if it's your first time here, you're very, very welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Now to the news. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has declared Peter Obi of the Labour Party LP as winner of the Saturday presidential election in Edo State with 331,163 votes to defeat the All Progressive Congress APC candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Alaji Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party PDP who scored 144,471 votes and 89,585 votes respectively. The final result was announced on Monday by INEX coalition officer in the state, Professor Iyando Indiayu, the vice chancellor of University of Uyo, Uni Uyo, Uyo, Akwaibom State. According to the declared results, the total registered voters are 2,501,081, while the accredited voters are 603,894. Wow, um, Peter Obi has won Edo State, and uh, 
even second place pdp who is um the ruling party in the state they did not come um second place it was um apc who came second place uh with a vote of 144,471 votes and pdp following with 89,585 votes um nigerians uh this obedient movement that has been going on and with the two major political parties stating that um ob does not have structure you know that is what's been um uh, on the lips of um the uh presidential candidates of the two major parties that there's no way ob will stand a chance that his party doesn't have a structure but um they forget that the people are the structure it looks like um the people they are really standing standing for peter the majority are uh, voting we know there are uh there are, they, there have been some states and local governments where peter Obi have lost out but um uh for edo state is actually uh won the state and uh, we've got another uh report um that came in as well regarding um delta state for that of the delta state um the labor party presidential candidate peter Obi is currently leading his opponent atiku abubakar of the people's democratic party pdp and bola tinubu of the all progressive congress apc in the saturday's presidential election in delta state delta is the home state of atiku's deputy and the current governor ifai okowa out of the 16 local governments so far announced by INEC, OB won 11. Wow, interesting. Um, Ifa Yokoa is um, the running mate um, to the presidential candidate of PDP, Atiku Abubaka. And um, interestingly, OB is leading in that state at the moment as we speak. Out of 16 local governments um, that have been announced so far, um, Peter OB has won 11 of those local governments and the results are still pouring in. Really, really interesting. Uh, we're seeing where this is going. Uh, uh, Nigerians are waiting expectantly, really, really looking forward to the final results. We can't wait for INEC. We're just hoping that um, INEC um, heeds to all of the um, advice that have been given that they should do their best to conduct a credible election that Yakubu Mahmoud should save his name. He should save his name so that his name will be written in the book of history that um, he was um, part of um, those who conducted the election that buffered a new Nigeria because at this point in time, Nigerians are not really speaking party. It's not about party. It's about um, change. And it's not the sort of change that APC promised. True change, genuine change that everyone will benefit, not just um, uh, uh, a percentage or just some set of individuals in the country. Well, guys, um, leave us your own take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again on more updates. Bye.